Welcome to Fear No Evil, where the evil I speak about is child sexual abuse, where Psalms 23 is my foundational scripture, and where the Lord is my shepherd at all times. This isn't really about any of the studies or anything, but this is about free speech. And it's about how the LGBT are trying to make anyone saying that there may be a connection between homosexuality and child sexual abuse hate speech. And I am constantly opposing that viewpoint. It is not hate speech. You have sexually abused members in the LGBT. They just don't come forward and talk about it. And I'm not quite sure why they don't come forward and talk about it. My guess is, is that it would completely and totally ruin their political agenda. And if you really break down these studies, you really put into question any evidence of a gay gene. So in order to stop, as we have seen with a lot of these studies, they do not include any information that may contradict their research. And they like to say, or like to give the impression that they are absolutely convinced when the research suggests otherwise. Not only is that unethical, it is also unprofessional, and it is also an injustice and a form of abuse for those children who are being sexually abused today and for those survivors who have endured their abuse. Now, if those survivors, whether they be an adult or whether they be the children being abused now, if they feel that they are not only having same-sex attraction, but they are also aware that they are sexual abuse survivors, they have every human right to explore all the avenues. And that also includes a connection between child sexual abuse. And when they want to say that it's hate speech, they are silencing, the LGBT members are silencing other child sexual abuse survivors. Now, I'm not going to say shame on them like they want to put shame on other people because as a child sexual abuse survivor, I know what it means to carry some kind of shame. I'm glad that the Lord has delivered me from any feelings of shame, but I had once, I have felt that in my life because of the child sexual abuse, so I know how that feels. So I think it's ridiculous that the LGBT has come up with the, with the um, slogan, shame on you. Really? Was it shame on you? Did you feel ashamed when you were abused? Did you feel ashamed of the things that you had to do? Of course there was a shaming to it. So how dare anyone who is a child sexual abuse survivor even use the words shame on you? And they don't have a right to silence other sexual abuse survivors, and they don't have a right to put themselves on a pinnacle of being the most revered of all the sexual abuse survivors. They're no more special than any other sexual abuse survivor, and they don't have a right to use the same silence that was perpetuated on them by their abuser to become the abuser and perpetuate that silence on other people who may feel that there is a connection. Now, if you really want to test whether there is a connection or not, then come to the table. I'm laying out the studies. I'm questioning the studies. Come to the table. Have a talk. Have a debate. But you can't do that without name-calling threatening people, telling on them, sticking the government on them because they dare to believe something different than you. I'm surprised my videos are up. They're, oh, they're monitored. My comments are monitored. I don't even know if I get views or not. I really don't care. All I know is that there's a possible connection. The research is showing it. I'm laying out the research, and you know why? Because there are sexually abused children being abused today. And they have every right that when they decide that they want to heal, that every avenue is open to them, even this avenue, because we don't have one study out there yet to, conclu to show 100% that there's a gay gene anywhere.